Hello students. Welcome to Diadmi IS. I am Zeba. I am your faculty for management at Diadmi IS. I welcome you all for a session that we have today for the subject module of management of information system. The subject module of management information system has a topic of expert system. And as for the previous year question trends, expert system has been asked in the UPSC management optional paper too. So I'm going to take that topic ahead, further ahead and I'm going to explain it to you. But before moving forward, I'm going to show you the question that was asked in the year 2020. Let's see the question that was asked and then you'll be able to relate it to the concept that I'm going to teach you today. So as you all can see here on your screen that the question that was asked was, what is the main purpose of an expert system what are its advantages? What are its disadvantages? Explain the architecture. So when, when I'll be teaching you expert system, I'll be teaching you what is an expert system, how the expert system has a different components, what is the architecture of a uh, expert system, what are the advantages, disadvantages. So subsequently you're going to like understand the concept and you're going to easily attempt this question. It was a 10 marker question, right? A securing, a very, very easy question for securing 10 marks. D part of this question was, what have been the contributions of the expert system with respect to management of COVID-19 pandemic? Again, a 10 marker question. So this question was asked in um, according to the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm going to explain it to you also and I'm going to uh, tell you that how the answer writing portion for these two questions can be done at the end of today's class, right? Let's move on further. Okay students, for today's session, what we are going to be understanding is, I'm going to be beginning with the concept of data. Then I'm going to explain you what is information, what is knowledge. Before understanding expert system, you need to know these three terms. Then I'm going to make you understand that what is an expert system, what are the salient features or characteristics of an expert system. Then we are going to go to the understand the application of an expert system. Further, we are going to understand the components. We also have, we are going to understand the architecture of an expert system, which was again asked in your UPSC paper too. Then the advantages and the disadvantages of an expert system. These are definitely important. And the PYQ answer writing strategy for the two questions that we have just seen on the previous slide. Right. So let's move on and understand this term. So beginning, Beginning with the concept of data, let's say I have taken four numbers, five, zero, two, one, right? So these are just four digits that I've taken. Data is basically a collection of raw facts, right? Raw facts, it can be numbers, it can be alphabets, anything in that consideration, right? So these are just what data is, four, zero, two, one, right? Then moving on from data, we have information. Now, if I compile these three, three, four digits and I say, let's we have a digit 4021, or let's say we have a number 1204, right? I have rearranged them. So now this is particular a four digit number, right? Which is giving you certain information, certain details about that what it actually is, right? If I have this kind of, uh, you know, digits and I have arranged them. So information is basically the organized as data and facts. So when I organize these data or raw facts, this is something we call it as information. Then moving on from information, the part of knowledge comes in. Let's say I'm saying there is a person ABC and his or her account number is 4021. So now 
this particular four digit number is holding a very strong value or very strong knowledge for any person to understand okay so this particular number is let's say abc's account number for bank right similarly what they say in knowledge is data information and past experience all combined together are termed as knowledge so knowledge helps you a lot in terms of the analytical part or the thinking part right you just cannot be sufficient with the concepts of data having the numerous amount of digits or alphabets that would be of no value then just an information was all, would also not be of like much consideration until and unless we move on to the knowledge part definitely there comes the big turning point why because data and information are all combined in the aspect of knowledge and knowledge helps us to be very very be precise in concept of understanding the details right so before moving on to expert system you should have a very very clear clarity about the fact of what is the term data what is information and what is knowledge let's move on further and understand what is an expert system see as you can see on your slides expert system is basically a computer program that stimulates the judgment or, or behavior of a human or an organization that has expert knowledge experience in a particular field what happens is let's say there is a person who is having certain um um i would say certain characteristics in terms of his or her physical appearance changing right so that person would go to a doctor right then that particular doctor would just analyze or do a quick body scan of the person right the physical body checkup that would be done just as the body checkup is going to be received the doctor is going to see certain characteristic features that are actually being identified as certain conditions related to any particular disease which have already he has already seen in in his entire or in her entire medical practice so seeing that person's traits or the kind of changes in the patient's body the doctor is quickly able to identify okay this particular person person or patient has this disease right expert system works in on exactly those same lines right so what expert system does is it is basically a computer system what this computer system is going to do is in accordance to the complex problem this computer system is going to use the domain knowledge and further provide a subsequent and a very significant solution and this solution is always always from uh, the aspect of that there are not even like single chances of any kind of an error with the decision that has been or a solution that has been taken right you can be so so very much sure and so so very much dependable on an expert system that is why it is known as known as an expert system otherwise we would have used a knowledge based system the level of expertise the level of knowledge the level of the amount of data or the amount of research or the kind of approach that expert system follows can never be in in accordance to the knowledge system knowledge system just gives you a solution does depending upon the knowledge but the accuracy or the efficiency is just maintained in the expert system right let's go back to the previous slide so i think the first point you have understood that what is an expert system here before using an expert system there are certain pre considerations or that have or there are always considered right these are here i have mentioned here four pre conditions you should all be very very clear about them first to make an expert system more effective the problem is reasonably well defined until and unless the problem is not well defined the solution cannot be corrected or cannot be found out so definitely the problem has to be very crystal clearly be defined in the initial stage then the expert can define certain rules you cannot just use all the knowledge base or all the database that you have available from the experts that have been providing you the domain knowledge so definitely there are certain conditions applied certain rules applied that okay depending upon this a problem this 
particular only uh, knowledge will be used right so that is from the aspect of the conditioning of the rules then the third part is the problem cannot be solved through conventional transactional processing system the problem cannot be solved through conventional transactional uh, processing system those only like you the, uh, the export system is only considered for those problem which cannot be just be directly be solved it needs that level of expertise it needs that level of anal analysis it needs that level of processing so definitely we don't use uh, export system for just any kind of a simple uh, uh, traditional problem the export system can be released to focus on more difficult problems experts can be released to focus on any any kind of a difficult problem we definitely always go for an export system here i have taken three examples of the different export system that are there first is covid c that is an export system that was used in covid pandemic to identify the uh, traces of so it was basically a chest ct scan that was being considered by the radiology departments of various institutes so that was this export system was developed at that point in time r1 xcon is basically an export system which is used to create uh, like create com different computer uh, systems then dendril is basically used by uh, in organic chemistry for certain identification or certain organic compounds right so what are the basic characteristics of an export system definitely is very it is very much efficient and very much reliable you cannot be like you cannot think about any other system if you compare other systems in terms of your problem solution this is the best system and the most efficient and reliable system it is highly responsive it is very like it in in terms of the response it is you are going to get is completely going to be accurate so you can be very much sure about the fact that it is going to be an interactive process then high performance as it is an export system with all the background knowledge it has been considering it gives you the best performance right the reasoning process is there you can you can always with any any kind of a decision uh, that has been taken there is always a very logical a very strong uh, reason behind this so it is not just any arbitrary um, you know any kind of an arbitrary uh, thing that comes up it is basically uh, it is very much backed by a very strong reasoning so that's why expert system are considered it has increased accessibility accessibility with this dean and age expert systems are very very much prominent and you can they can be easily be accessible right then the different applications of uh, the real world where expert systems are used first they are used in different medical diagnosis right a lot of time different different uh, you know for cancer treatment for identification of cancer cells in a patient's body medical diagnosis uh, expert systems are used then for different scientific and research theories right in different fields of let's say physics chemistry you know uh, all telecommunication and all those this is uh, basically used then clinical system a lot of um, like research in terms of pharmaceuticals and the different uh, medicine backgrounds they are using expert system right automobile manufacturing many companies are now using um, uh, this export system to just understand the kind of a product that the market is actually being uh, expecting from them so uh, and even before launching it or be even before start you know uh, building up they have an very very clear understanding of what all are the requirements and uh, depending upon that only they are going to deliver the product then it is being used in flight tracking system with so many like recently so many um, air plane crashes so air uh, tra flight tracking system helps to easily identify uh, the flight in consideration of the weather and the landing grounds and other uh, you know tropical features then in robotics definitely it is in uh, artificial intelligence very very much in uh, reliance to them mathematics it is basically used to solve simple concept based problems right in battlefields also uh, in consideration of uh, two con two armies fighting uh, it would be in aspects of the coordinate location and all those other aspects in battlefield an expert system is very much used in nuclear power the kind of radiation or the kind of uh, chemical compounds that are being used so the level of uh, 
I would say the um, the minimal, uh, you know, damage is reduced by using an expert system so that the pre-hand uh, problem solution is always there, right? So this is where the expert system is now. These are the nine major applications I have introduced. You can read them one by one, and you can write about them also very easily. So now many students would be again having the consideration of the fact that, ma'am, why we use actually an expert system? First of all, students, an expert system is in consideration of the fact that it has no emotions. Unlike human beings, there is no, you know, kind of emotions uh, in uh, in accordance to the decision making. So there is no biasness, there is no prejudices. So definitely, any system which is so concrete, it would give the best of the best solution and the best of the best result. So definitely, an expert system, and that is why it is being considered as highly effective, highly effective. right so that is how it becomes highly effective then there is expertise in the domain for any complex problem the kind of the domain for which the problem has to be resolved the expertise in uh, you know provide the best of the knowledge so you can expect the result also being very very uh, very very like detailed right then the fourth part is that there is no memory lim limitation there is no uh, data storage uh, i would say issue and you can easily have there is no limitation so you can easily be uh, using a huge amount of database or the knowledge base then there are regular updates and improved performances it keeps on updating and it keeps on uh, being uh, very very much uh, in demand with the fact so any decision that you are taking right now with an expert system or any kind of a solution that you have re received you can be very very much sure that in the coming of coming up of let's say five next years so the same problem, you know the same kind of a decision would be made because that's the level of accuracy there then there is highly secure for sure right now the cyber crimes are um, increasing at an alarming rate so definitely an expert system is having the highest level of security to be maintained and seven it considers all the facts so there are no facts even the minute details are included in an expert system so you can understand it takes on all the complex and all the uh, simple basic uh, data of other facts right you know so that's how it is very very much there now let's move on to the components of expert system so first of all as you can all see here there are two individual here right and there is this is basically the main component of an expert system i would first explain it with you to you with the help of a diagram and then we are going to go ahead and un understand the main uh, the definitions of them right so first of all in an expert system there is user interface there are rules engine and there is a knowledge base so what happens here is the particular non expert user or the person who who is not actually an expert he or she raises a query giving certain sample input right for example i just uh, told you when a patient goes to a doctor he or she tries to explain to the doctor that what all are the symptoms he or she or the kind of way he or she is feeling so this is basically the simple input that is provided it could be an, your name your gender your location and all those things right then it, this particular simple input sample input goes to the expert system components 1 2 and 3 right so what happens there is an uh, using the these particular facts this particular expert system component consider it first is it goes to the user interface user interface is the first like it's like a screen that a user is seeing so the user does not know that okay behind the scene what is happening he or she just has an idea of the in the front window he or she is experiencing to uh, you know solve that problem that he or she is encountering then this particular as per the facts that has been given this user interface further passes it to the rules engine here the conditioning is being done right but before the conditioning is being done what happens is the knowledge from an expert which is already present here is definitely already in the pool of knowledge base right now when the user interface has provided those facts the conditions are applied on those facts okay so let's say somebody is having this 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 facts okay depending upon the knowledge base we have these there are certain pointers that are being noticed 
and which are frequently occurring so based upon these certain pointers the knowledge the data the knowledge that has been acquired from the expert they consider to get a concrete solution for the same you know for which actually the expert system was to be interacted with that that means why we at the end of the day this is the end result we get from here right so once this solution has been received this particular solution goes back using an end user interface back to the uh, non expert user and here he or she can take it as a advice or a or, or a solution right so this is how basically basically a uh, expert system works from this side to to this side but in the middle section there is an interaction of both the individuals happening with this component of an expert system right so there is basically a flow of uh, you know uh, chaining that happens i'll explain it to you just a second right so basically what happens is there is a flow from the facts we go to the confusion there is a chain maintained right one by one then sometimes from the confusion we do the bottom up approach we move on to the facts this is what the concept of further backward and forward chaining that you are going to study here right so in accordance to this diagram only students let me first explain to you that what is a knowledge base knowledge base is basically it contains domain specific and high quality knowledge like i told you it comes from the end from the uh, expert expert who, the person who is actually very much very much knowledgeable in the the domain for which the complex system is created right so this particular domain specific is a very high quality has a very high quality knowledge knowledge is required to exhibit intelligence the knowledge is definitely according to analysis of intelligence the success of any expert system depends upon the accurate and the precise knowledge the more detailed and the more perfection in knowledge the more and the more perfection in the expert systems entire functioning always remember that right so domain knowledge comes from the knowledge base and not where from where did we got the knowledge base definitely from the expert who has actually provided us this pool of knowledge now then we have reference inference engine so now inference engine as i just told you is also called call as rose engine here the conditioning is uh, on the facts is made like you cannot just take the entire knowledge base and give it to the user we cannot do that right so what you are going to do is abhi log ho jaye so what we are going to do is we are going to use the rules engine and then we are going to use go to the user interface and subsequently this filtered thing is now going to be received by the non expert user so here the its inference engine just seeks information and relationship from the knowledge base and provides answers predictions and suggestions in the way a human expert would so it is just like the fact that you are interacting with an expert human but it here since we are using a computer based system so there the answers predictions and suggestions are definitely fetched so depending upon what the the inference engine is these are the suggestions and the solution that are going to be back to be provided with, with the this back arrow i hope you can see that here again through the user interface the non expert user is going to receive the advice now what are rules engine a conditional statement that links the condition actions or the outcome definitely you have seen that that is how it works then we have the backward chaining a method of reasoning that starts with confusion and works backwards to supporting facts so what happens here is in the backward chaining 
you so it is like you are going back what you are doing is a method is of reasoning that starts with the confusion i as i told you first you take the result and then you try to do the bottom up approach so then you move on to the facts so from conclusions in backward chaining you are going to the facts and facts are something that actually i told you in the beginning of the session they are the raw uh, uh, data that is available and for in forward chaining what we do is we go in the top to bottom approach first we have facts and then we go on to the conclusion so that's why it is called as forward chain forward chain is basically the step by step procedure that is followed right that is why chain it is linked so that is why it is considered as a part of backward and forward chain here i have included the architecture of an expert system as you can all see on your screen now for the architecture of an expert system as you can see here again there is i'll begin from the sense of from the side of the experts there are a number of experts in regard to that particular domain for which the expert system has been created if it is a medicine one so it, the experts are going to all to be are going to be experts in the concept of medicines if there is an expert system for uh, let's say flight response system so all these are going to be pilots all the uh, air aviation experts and all those things so from these these experts are going to share their knowledge to the knowledge engineer and knowledge engineer minded is going to be the technical person he is not going to be an expert but he is going to be having receiving all the knowledge from those experts and utilizing it in consideration to the computer system right so there come the role of a knowledge engineer so knowledge engineer has a role of construction of the rules and construction of all the knowledge analysis okay so this is the entire knowledge base so this is the person who actually creates the knowledge base always remember that it is this person who is actually the main person who is coordinating the entire knowledge base right as you can see here also above there is a knowledge base where there are different knowledge sources available knowledge source 1 2 3 and so on now all these knowledge uh, you know uh, sources first are in interaction with certain components of the expert system if you re remember these were the components of the expert system which we just studied right the user interface the or knowledge base the inference mechanism the explaining mechanism you know the inter the different uh, conditioning and everything that was applied there now when the user as you can see here raises or tries to seek advice the first thing that he or she encounters is definitely for him or her the expert system is just this much always remember this is the user does not have an idea that at the back end all these you know stakeholders are functioning no he just has an idea okay this is the user interface that's about it so this is the way this is the place actually where he is going to raise a query and this is the place where he is going to fetch the answer that's about it now at the back end the user interface goes to the different components of the um, entire expert system which we have already discussed and this knowledge base that is already there it is in consideration and very very much being controlled by the knowledge engineer he is the one who is making sure that there is the best of knowledge available regarding the domain right the intelligence the part the all the analysis thing that is just being coordinated and being controlled by the knowledge engineer please remember that he is an expert for sure then this no knowledge that he has acquired to get that intelligence and the kind of consideration that is from the experts of that particular domain right so this all works in accordance to interrelation or interfunctioning with each other no stakeholder in the entire architecture of an expert system just exists alone we need to have a very strong backing up of the knowledge so here since the strategic and the accuracy of the decision making is perfect right we have already studied that why that is why we are using an expert system right so this is the kind of level of detailed understanding that expert system provides please remember that 
you can go ahead and understand the diagram you, if you have any doubt you can ask me your doubts let's move on further from the architecture of an expert system i think now you will be able to i'll be giving you certain notes also to understand the different uh, components of an expert system or the different uh, considerations that are here on the screen don't worry about it just keep a mind map of this diagram please make sure that you are drawing this diagram in the answer writing part right which is going to come further now what are the advantages that 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 gain from we have we actually gain by using an expert system first it allows the non experts to the make expert decision definitely if you see, have seen the previous diagram also this person is not an expert but the kind of response now he has the kind of advice that he has received has made him to take an expert decision so definitely it allows non expert to make expert decision the second point here is it is fast accurate and consistent advice the advice you get is very much very much accurate right there is ability to change input details to explore alternative solutions there is no complete complete rigidity in consideration to, okay this is the kind of uh, you know advice or the details that are available the information keeps on or the knowledge keeps on updating so definitely there is definitely a chance of all the alternative solutions available then there is reduction in staff cost less expert required you don't need a human intervention all the time there is an expert staff there is already there so the cost less the, the on the manpower the cost is less considered then there is improved allocation of hr experts concentrate on more complex issues so there is improved allocation of hr experts concentrate on more uh, complex issues means the more complex problem the most complex problem to be frank can easily be resolved here so you don't need to go on i i had to uh, be dependent on any other system then there is it can become a competitive advantage for any organization or any individual who is using an expert system it develops a niche it creates a very strong competitive advantage in consideration to others right so that is why expert system is very very much prominent right now in the entire world now let me take subsequent advantages as well as its disadvantages the advantages of an expert system are it holds huge amount of information that you have already understood it provides answers for decisions process and tasks that are repetitive right even if for the repetitive task it tries to filter it out and provides the answers for the same it minimizes it Im minimizes employee training cost you don't need to depend train your employees in an organization for the same you just need an expert system that is the way it is going to function by itself so the cost on training an employee is actually saved centralize the decision making process the decision making process is very concrete so it centralizes the entire decision making process it makes the things more effective by reducing the time needed to solve problems it makes everything very effective definitely by reducing the time uh, so there is no wastage of time for sure it combines various human expert intelligence right it combines all the human expert intelligence we have seen right they get the entire information from all the experts and the knowledge engineer so for sure combines various human expert intelligence it reduces the number of human errors if you can see it here also it reduces the number of human errors so there are there, it's it's a machine of course so the chances of errors are very minimal so there are no emotions also so we have already seen that so the there is no chance of any kind of a human error in terms of concentration or any memory default right provide strategic and comparative advantage that may create problems for competitors it provides that's what that we just considered it helps to create a competitive advantage so any company or any individual who are using an expert system can be very much be in uh, accordance with the fact that they are having actually a, uh, a level of uh, upper hand over the others who are not using expert system looks over transaction that human expert may not think 
so it goes to the minutest of details so definitely you can be sure about the fact a human might miss those facts and details or information but expert system would surely not right now with the advantages there would definitely be some disadvantage also what are the disadvantages high initial capital expenditure and uh, definitely to implement or to install an expert system is not that easy right there is a technical support definitely always required it might it's a machine so you can expect those kind of technical errors com coming a system does not automatically learn it needs to be constantly updated that's what i told you it's a system so you and the information keeps on changing so you need to be as a human uh, person who is using this or handling the um, this expert system the role of knowledge engineer comes here so he has to be always on the uh, you know go for updating the information user as a non expert may give inaccurate advice without recognizing right a user sometimes the user also the the first person who is actually providing us this kind of uh, facts he or she might be at fault in providing the right facts so then the if the first step goes wrong the entire solution that is coming or being received would be wrong so definitely a user if non expert might give you inaccurate advice downtime system failure affects all the user even if there is a slightly of time uh, system error so it can greatly uh, like create a big havoc in the entire running of the system reliance probable reduction in basic skills possible user resistance for higher level experts it's definitely in consideration of the fact that higher level experts are very much required because the kind of complexity for solving this for, for using this expert system is very very highly uh, like uh, very very accurate right now i have taken a case study here with the covid c, c uh, you know expert system that we were just discussing this particular an article that was considered you can read this article it is basically it came in news where an expert system to diagnose covid 19 and predict its severity using chest ct scan in application in radiology so once you are writing the answer which was actually there on your uh, i think in the initial the first slide that we had if you remember this one right so here the question is directly what have been the contribution of expert system so once this question is asked it's a so you are going to be very very clear of the fact that you need to be updated with your current affairs right so this article was actually considered from there so covid c you can talk about covid c how it is actually uh, being it actually created a this article was very important the diagnosis of that was done by identify certain uh, so basically there was a confusion sometimes sometimes people were asymptotic and sometimes it was not very clear to identify that which person was actually uh, affected and which person was not uh, infected so what happened was this particular covid uh, expert system created a lot of clarity in consideration of the fact that the result came from the chest ct scan so they identified certain you know um, traces of certain uh, viruses in the chest of the particular person who was infected and in those consideration this particular expert system was very very much useful so you can read that article and you can frame your answer i'll check your answer depending upon uh, the kind of uh, you know the way you have presented it and then we can work upon that right please read this article for sure and always be aware and make sure like whenever that's why I always emphasize on the fact when you when you are reading the syllabus you have to make sure whenever you are actually doing reading your newspapers and current affairs daily that you are doing as a upsc aspirant you should be very very be able to relate or integrate the two things that you are actually studying or reading so somebody who has come across this article would have definitely answered it easily now what are the developments in an expert system so i'll just explain again quickly to you how the expert system uh, like properly develops or works so here i have first step what i what if somebody asks you let what is an expert how does it expert system functions let's say in, in consideration of a medical uh, expert system firstly expert system should be fed with expert knowledge definitely the expert system should already have a predefined expert knowledge with itself you cannot wait for the user in to provide certain facts you need to be pre ready right with the knowledge base 
in case of my sin my sin human experts specialized in the medical field of bacterial infection provided information about the cause symptoms and other knowledge in that domain all the relevant information related to this bacterial infection was already provided in this knowledge base right so it was already pre installed there the kb of my the knowledge base of the mycin is updated successfully so definitely the updated information is there so it was definitely the knowledge base was very much updated in order to test it the doctor provided a new problem to it every time to check the expert system and to see its functioning some certain problems were provided from the user end right the problem is to identify the presence of the bacteria that was where the actual decision making was to be considered by inputting the details of a patient so like i told you certain facts or certain uh, pointers would be mentioned by the user and depending upon that in th they included symptoms current condition and the medical history the basic information that a patient actually provides to a doctor now when this information was fetched into the expert system using an user interface the expert system will need a questionnaire to be filled by the patient to know the general information about the patient just such as gender age other a uh, questionnaire was also provided to get the certain uh, personal details so that this can also be used in the pool of data for you know for the future um, relevance right because it might be that the same patient would come next time let's say 6 months uh, post this particular um, usage so from there the, part, the those particular details that he or she has provided can be used as from that historical background now the system has collected all the information so it will find the solution for the problem definitely depending upon the system, symptoms conditions the medical history the system would be providing the information and applying use the if then rule i told you that the entire knowledge base cannot be used there has to be certain conditioning that will be provided depending upon what the user has provided as his or her details once the if uh, then rules are applied then this info the from the knowledge base the information is going to be filtered and received in the end it will provide a response to the patient by using the user interface for sure that is where the end part of the expert system is received right so with this we come to the end of the discussion for today um i would like you to write down the answer for the two questions that i have just showed you in the beginning of today's class please go ahead and write your answer and let me know any doubt that you have thank you so much